Hello everybody and welcome to another Python 3 tutorial video. In this video what we're going to be doing is combining two of our standard library modules and using them to parse a website. So we're going to be using URL lib and uh, RE for regular expression. So uh, with that let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to need to import uh, URL lib.request and we're also going to import URL lib.parse. Uh, Finally, we're going to import our E for regular expressions, and we're ready to go. So first, we're going to define our URL that we want to visit. Uh, let's go ahead and visit http colon slash slash pythonprogramming.net. Next, uh, we're going to say our values. Uh, so we're going to do a search on pythonprogramming.net. So our values, whoops, this is going to be a dictionary, is uh, s will be equal to basics, base socks, basics. And then we'll say submit colon search. Okay, so those are the values that we're gonna parse in and uh, post. Now we're gonna say data equals URL lib.parse.url encode and we're gonna encode values. <clears throat> and we're gonna say data equals data dot encode UTF-8, whoops. And then we're gonna say rec for request equals URL lib dot request dot request, capital R. And we're gonna make the request of uh, URL passing through data and then the response will be url lib dot request dot url open request. Um, just as a quick aside, I'm not really explaining any of this stuff that we're typing because we've already covered the url lib tutorial. So if you feel lost here, like if you're starting on this video or something and you don't know why I'm doing what I'm doing, uh, check out the url lib tutorials uh, for Python 3. So response now, uh, resp data for response data equals resp.read. And then uh, what we want to do is we're going to use regular expression. So if you remember last time what this printed out, we could say print uh, resp data. So we can save and run that. Let's make sure that works first, I suppose, anyway. So we get all this junk, right? Um, but within this junk, there's some normal stuff. Um, we don't really see anything here. Uh, at least so far for me, I don't really see it. But here we go. Here we got some math basics, blah, blah, blah. Here's a paragraph tag finally. Anyway, so here's a paragraph. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not seeing the opening paragraph tag. But you'll have to take my word for it. There's an opening paragraph tag somewhere. Anyway, the idea is we want to parse out paragraph data. So generally in HTML, people have you know header one, header two for like big titles, and then they, or maybe even header three. Then maybe subtitles, header three, header four, maybe header two. And then the content is almost always a paragraph tag, just a, you know, a, your typical like this. Uh, let's make some space. You know, you've got a paragraph tag like that. Then you've got content, 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 blah, 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 blah. And then you have a closing paragraph tag. Now, depending on the site, sometimes this might be slightly different, but usually it's paragraph tag of some sort. You just might have to parse like this or something. Um, <clears throat> anyway, moving on. Um, so that's what we want. So we want to use a regular expression that's going to say, hey, I want to parse everything between paragraph tags. So what we're going to say is paragraphs equals read.findAll. And what we're going to do is regular expression. And the regular expression we want is it's going to be paragraph tag. So like I said, if you want to search for a specific text, you would you can just type in that specific text. And so, so far, we're not using any special characters, so we don't need to escape anything. And then uh, um, parentheses, I can't tell, <laughs> blanket on the name there. Uh, this is where the pattern that we want. So like if you want to put, let's see, we'll put the closing paragraph. So basically we're saying paragraph tag, paragraph tag will be here, and then here is what you want to search for. So you put between these little curly braces, or curly braces, parentheses, and put between these, what, what data do we actually want to search for? So like what is the data we want to output? Because so far we're saying nothing, 
and but it's like find something between paragraph tags but we have to specify what that something might be now my little favorite combination to look for just anything is a period asterisk question mark okay so that basically means find me everything between paragraph tags and so if we look back at what these characters actually mean the period is um, basically the period is going to say any character right um, except for your new line the asterisk is zero or more repetitions so if there's zero that's okay and then anything more than that that's fine and then so we're basically that this applies to your period and then finally the question mark which is match um, the zero or one repetitions so it's basically finding anything between paragraph tags and then only one zero or one repetitions of that and then it will break because that's the end of your paragraph and then continue on so I just always like when I'm parsing websites sometimes it's not between paragraph tags it might be between something else but the, the combination of regular expressions that I will use is always a period asterisk question mark just because it works so well so what we'll do now is we'll say um, for each P in paragraphs print each P okay so let's save and run that and see what we get and it's going to take a second to pop up there it is oh man I think we were printing source code there hold on yeah we printed the response data let's go ahead and comment that out we don't want to do that anymore so let's try that one more time read out find uh oh we didn't put okay so paragraphs read out find all the great regular expression but w what are we looking into here and we're looking for it in resp uh, data you need to convert this to a string uh, because it's not uh, in string but anyway let's try it one more time and now we get this right so this is all of our uh, paragraph data Okay, so that's going to conclude the tutorial of using URL lib and regular expressions uh, to parse a website. If you guys have any questions or comments on this, feel free to leave them below. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support and subscriptions, and until next time.